Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about Proactivity 1000 series PLC counter instructions and a majority of the programmable controllers or PLCs programs will include a counter instruction. Now the Proactivity 1000 has a couple of different uh, counter instructions themselves. We have a uh, counter and a simple counter. So if we look at every time we talk about counters we should actually look at um, timing charts which is the secret of using counters so we did do a previous post on that which is located right here it's the secret of using counters in which we discuss the the count and the timing chart for the individual uh, inputs coming into that counter so great great post uh, I'll put that in the show notes or in the video notes below as well as uh, on our website for this uh, video so if we look at our simple counter I'll just double click this. Um, you'll see that we have um, a preset value, which is the value that we're going to target to. We have our current value, which is what the, the uh, value of the counter is currently. And then we have a done bit. Now, when the uh, current value is equal to the uh, preset value, then the done bit then energizes. Now, in the Productivity uh, 1000, we can set this up as a tag, and what we use, what we say is use structure. So we give it a name, and then the name is followed by a dot, and then the corresponding uh, preset, current, or done bits. So that's how the structure of that simple counter uh, uh, happens. And then we also uh, can specify a one-shot on our input. What this means is, um, the input, it will look for a transition from off to on before it fires the that input itself. And we did a, another post on that, if we call up this, and we, it's how to make a one shot. So this explains some of the code behind uh, making that one shot um, that we just specified there with just a simple click. So there's a little bit of a code in there and this uh, will go through um, and explain exactly what we mean by how to make a one shot in the PLC. So going back to our simple counter, so we fill in those values, we'll hit OK or cancel in this case here because we have it up here. And what you'll see is it comes back in our counter instruction itself. So we have two lines, we have a count up line which we see there's a little arrow. That arrow is actually representing our one shot that we specified. We have then switch uh, one, then goes to that counts our up value. And we have switch two, which is our reset. Now our reset will always override what our switch one will say, because you see it follows the logic. So if switch one is there, switch two is here. So it always is gonna override just the way it scans. Then we have a simple counter. You'll see the preset value currently, I have it set for 10. My uh, our preset value. So it's trying to count up to 10. Our current value is 5 and our done bit is 0 or off right now because it is to, does not equal 10 yet. So let's just, uh, we, we are connected to our PLC. You see here that we have CPU uh, at uh, 192.168.114. We're connected through our Ethernet uh, communication. So if we look at our PLC we're actually connected right here. So what we'll do is we are monitoring this ladder logic. So what you'll notice is if I were to turn on switch one, you'll see my switch one turns on and now my current value moves to six. And we toggle that off and then back on again, now seven, until we finally get up to 10. And when 10 gets hit, so our set value equals our current value, our done bit is then set. When a done bit gets set, we have the uh, simple counter done bit located right here. It actually turns on our output number one. Output number one then is this location we see right here. 
Now, if I continue to count, what you'll see is that as long as I'm above my pre preset value of 10, my output done bit still remains on. So it's really equal or greater than will set the done bit on. Now the second switch, turn that off. Our second switch is a reset. And it actually will reset that counter back to, to zero again. And you can see here, I'll leave the reset on, but toggle my input switch again. And it doesn't matter how much I toggle it, the reset still overrides what the set value is until that reset is then turned off. Now I can start my count again and switch it back on and it will start counting back from zero up to one. So that's my simple counter. And I can see that in my tag database under simple counter, that's what we called it. And there's my uh, present value, my current and my done bit in the, the uh, types of IO. We said that they, we checked off that they are retentive. So we can make every one of these retentive or non-retentive depending on how our application wants to handle it. We also have our initial value. So our preset value is gonna be zero. Our current value is zero, but we can set an initial value of whatever we wanted to. In this case here, we leave, left it at zero and we made it memory retentive. So that is our simple counter. The next one that we'll look at is our just our counter value. And our counter value, um, if we double click this, we'll go up here and again, we're gonna use structure, we're just gonna call it counter. But what this will do is set up again, a series of individual uh, bits and registers for us. We'll have a preset value again. We'll have a current value. We'll have a, a reset value. So when we reset, we can reset to a certain value. And then we have an equal, less than, or greater than. And once again, we use the one shot as our input, or our, on our inputs, in order to um, uh, do a one shot from a transition from off to on in order for that to operate and to trigger that input. So we'll just hit OK. And what you'll see here is that I have used switch three, switch four, and switch five. And switch three is my count up, which is that little up arrow again. The, um, is my one shot. Switch number four is my count down, which is again on a one shot from a transition from off to on. And then we have switch five, which is the reset. On our counter itself, we have a preset value of 10. We have a current value of five. Um, we have zero, one, and zero for our pre present value is equal, which is zero because our present value is not equal to our current value. We have the present value is less than the preset, which is one, which is true. And the present value is greater is off as well, or zero because it's less than or, or not greater than the, the uh, preset value. So when we look at the, the actual outputs, our counter equal to flag is set to output output four. Our counter less than is equal to output, sorry, output three for equal, output four for counter less than, and output five is my counter greater than. So there are my four or my three outputs. And you'll notice that uh, currently right now, the fourth output is now active because my preset value is at five and my or my uh, current value is at five and my preset value is at ten. So let's just uh, again we'll take switch number three and we'll turn it on. And what you'll see is that switch number three then um, increments the current value back up to six. Switch number four is my down counter. You'll notice as soon as I switch it on, it then triggers uh, the count to decrement by one. So it goes back to five. 
So let's increase it up to, as soon as I hit 10, a couple things happen. What you'll see now is because my current value is equal to my set value, my equal flag will come on and you'll find that the output number three now is on on my input. So now if I continue to increment that once more, you'll see now we're at 11. Now we are greater than the um, preset value. So now my output number five will now come on. So again, every application is going to be slightly different, but you can pick up these uh, contact bits and apply them to your program as you wish. So if we look at, um, we'll go down, back to 10, so it's equal, down once more, back to less than. So very simple counter, and we can actually look at our tag database under our counter, and again, we will see that we've made our preset value and our current value uh, memory retentive, and we've set our initial value of our preset is 10 and our reset is zero. So we could actually reset this back to five or the middle of where we want and count up and down. Several different applications um, can be solved by this, by this counter itself. So all the links and documentation can be found on our website at accautomation.ca. If you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information just as you have. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to ACC Automation and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.